everybody. Happy Sunday. I see my camera is lagging on my phone and I have no idea why. Sometimes it gets overheated. So I'm going to try and do this video as fast as I can because probably I'm not going to have an ending to it. I did one last night. I never posted it because there was no ending. It cut off right, in the, right, right just at the ending. Just even before I was saying goodbye. Um, I had a YouTube uh, video, um, one of my colleagues, hi, one of my colleagues asked a question and they wanted to know like, how do you use the candles as a wax melt? You know, how do you do it? It's, it's very simple, very simple. And as per your request, I'm going to show you, i uh, just, you know what it is. I don't make a big deal out of things. Now there are a series of special wax melters that you can use and I don't have one available. Um, you have wax melters that you could actually take the plate off that holds the wax and it usually has like um, um, a flat, it's like a, it's a warmer. You can actually use anything on that. Now if you have a warmer that's wide enough that does that, you can actually put the candle on the warmer itself and it will actually warm the candle from, from bottom to top. That's one. Um, my removable plate, it might, this is a dish, my removable dish does not have that on there. It, it actually has a light bulb in it, so there is no, there is no top to it. Once I take this off, the, the uh, inside of the warmer and the bulb is visible. Um, that's one way. The second way, they also sell wax warmers that do with lamps. And you could look it up on Amazon. You could type in um, lamp wax warmer. I think you could type it in, <laughs> excuse me, type it in like that. And what that is, is that the candle rests in it, but then you have this lamp. It's a light, it's, it, basically it's a lamp. It's a, it's a high, I wanna say, a, a, I wouldn't use it as a regular lamp. It is a high heated light bulb lamp. And that actually shines on the candle and that actually melts it now from the top down. That's number two. Me, I don't make a big deal out of this. What I do is I go to my Dollar Tree. I go into Dollar Tree and I got a ice cream scooper for a dollar. And what I do is I open it up. Be careful because sometimes I applied pressure to my other candle which was the Bath and Body Works candle. I applied pressure and it actually cracked the glass on the side of the candle. Because these, candle, these candles are glass. That's probably why they have more money also, because of the glass and, and they're heavy. It makes a nice presentation, but it's very dainty. Everybody, everybody, everybody who orders from Bath and Body Works never seems to get a candle intact. All the glass is all over the box because they don't bubble wrap or they don't put the candles in the egg crate cartons. That's, they should just do that. Put them in the egg crate cartons and then put bubble wrap over it and just smell the damn thing. But no, they have to throw them in the bo bottom of the box and the box gets tossed. And I know many people who receive their candles because they don't have a Bath and Body Works you know, in the area near them so that they can't get to that. Um, so they have to rely on the mail. You poor things, I know. So anyhow, those are the two things okay the third is what I do okay Dollar Tree ice cream scooper you take it this is what the inside of the candle now looks like because I've been scooping away at it and you just you know ever so lightly you just scoop it and what I do is I take it and I put it into my wax warmer this is what it looks like okay I'm gonna put that back in because right now I'm not using this one um, and that's it. Now, in order to get it out of your tray, I, what I usually do, and you can see other YouTube videos like this. I'm not, I didn't invent anything. I, I learned from other YouTube videos. You take this and you put this in the freezer, like right? my refrigerator is right here. You put it in the freezer for maybe about a half hour. Me, I give it 45 minutes, but with, with that saying, you take it out of the freezer, you turn it a little bit with your hands, you wiggle it, sometimes it spins, and then you just pop it out. 
and this is what it's going to look like when you pop it out. This is my other wax. Now, I save these for my wax warmers because they still have scent. So I know I'll at least get another two melts out of this. So far, I have gotten three melts out of this. And that is from the candle, the Bath and Body Works candle. As a matter of fact, this is the one where I cracked the glass. Um, the uh, Perfect Christmas. And this is what the inside of this candle looks like now. <laughs> Still gives a nice smell. Now, my review on this after melting it and everything, the smell, it's a good smell. I smell it. It's not strong. I like a good, strong scent. I like to do, when I walk into my house, or if I go out the next day after melting one at night, I go out the next day and I come back into my house and I still smell that from the night before, then I know it's good. This doesn't really have that. So it is not a stronger scent. It's a, it's a mild scent, but you could smell it, but it's mild. It is not, it's just not strong enough for me. So with that, then I also have melted, and you can see the shape of this one, is the um, Spice Gingerbread that I bought at Bath & Body Works a few weeks ago. I want to say a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So if you notice here, I did try burning it. I used now they tell you to trim the wick a little bit before you do it because you don't want a high flame. Okay, fine, I did that. The wax really, after an hour, did not separate. It did not, it did not loosen, it did, and it wasn't even. And this, at this time, it was a brand new candle. So I said, let me do it first and let me see. And at that time, it was a brand new candle. And the wicks started to burn out on their own. So, I wasn't a fan of that. Was it a dud candle? Now, I also have, you know, I talk to people on Facebook pages, the Bath and Body Works. I have a body, Bath and Body Works Facebook page that I'm a member of. Some of the candles are duds. Sometimes you get one that is perfect, does everything, has a perfect wick, has a perfect melting, gives a lot of throw. In other words, somebody, somebody asked what throw was. She says, I'm new to candles. She says, but I don't understand what throw is. Throw means is that the scent that'll last, how far that scent goes. House, do you smell that in your house in an open, in an open area? This gives that, it does, after I melted it. But uh, as far as the candle burning, no. I just wanted to try it just to see. I wasn't a fan and I knew I wasn't gonna be so, but I gave it a shot. So, and then some here that I have that I already scooped, looks like snow, <laughs> ah! and some here that I have that I already scooped, and I'm going to use that um, for maybe later. Right now, I am using the Yankee Candle. I went yesterday, I purchased the, some Yankee Candle, uh, the new single-use wax melts, and I purchased the um, cinnamon stick. And I got two of those, one for my living room, one for my bedroom. And I, I melted them last night. They are just, like I said to you last week when I purchased the first two, they are amazing. They give off such a strong scent. The consistency is better. The look of them are better. Um, the, the, the texture is so much better. I mean, they really, Yankee Candle really, really did a good job with these. These, these, are, these are an improvement, let me tell you than the stupid little uh, wax tarts. And most of those wax tarts that I bought, I actually wound up throwing out. I just, I couldn't do it. Um, I couldn't melt them. They, they, first of all, they look stale. They, they just had to stay. I showed you that in my other video. But get yourself a dollar scooper at Dollar Tree and just scoop your candle away and you will be fine. And basically that is all you have to do. And I get a lot of use out of this, let me tell you. I'm nowhere, I'm nowhere near half. I'm nowhere near half used because I don't use that much. But you know what? Use, when you're putting them into the warmer, use a lot more than what you really want because once you melt them, you know, they may not, they may not be as much as you want. You'll, you could detect that once it starts to melt and you'll see it turn into liquid. Um, then you'll see how much you have. And then you know what you do? You scoop some more and you add some more to it. That's what I do. I do that sometimes at night. I just, you know, when I see it's not, although the scent is there, 
when I see it's just really not enough, I just take another scoop or two and I just add it to the already melted wax. And it kind of freshens it up as long as you're using the same, you know, uh, same scent. Well, and that's really it. These will be reused. They will be remelted because I know they still have life to them. So that's good. And that's really my trick. There's nothing too, nothing fancy. Some people cut them up into squares. Some people cut them into shapes. Some people, I mean, I saw a woman use a cookie cutter. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. I'm not getting that fancy with wax. Just scoop it and put it in and it melts. I get the same amount of scent. It is wonderful, very easy. Anyway, I made a mall purchase. Just to, just went to the mall today. I had to get my husband a birthday card because today's his birthday. And I did. Good wife, good wife I got. Oh. <laughs> and um, I needed, I have a dish rack, a, a dry dish rack. You know, you put your dishes in it and they dry, you know, after you do your dishes. <coughs> I don't use my dishwasher all the time because it's only me and my husband. And tonight we're having turkey meat sliders, so that's that's really nothing. Um, if the pandemic wasn't hitting, we would have went out to dinner. That would have been cool because we haven't been to Applebee's in so long. We have our Applebee's right here. But we, we don't go there because they're closed. They don't even have outside service. And my husband hates outside service. He will not do it. You know what? I'm not a fan of it even, either. Um... The weather here is gorgeous today on Sunday. Sunday. It is 70 degrees. I heard it's almost going to hit 80 in November. I love it. So I went out, did my walk, which killed me. Because when you don't walk all the time, my body tends to feel it. I'll feel it about 8 o'clock tonight when I'm laying in bed and I have to get up to go use the restroom. And I'll go, oh, oh, oh. And everything just stiffens up. But I needed what I, I wasn't crazy about my drying dish rack now again that's from the dollar tree that was it let me show you because i didn't get rid of it yet i didn't get rid of it yet but i will because it's already set to go into the trash this is from the dollar tree it's a dish rack now it looked cute it was good i have the bottom of it you know the, the hello uh the flat bottom of it now, I bought this for a reason. I bought this actually because I wanted my utensils to sit up and dry. And you have the holes on the bottom and you have the inside. Now, the thing is, is when you put the utensils in, that's all fine and dandy. After four nights, I realized I took my utensils out and I was putting them away the next morning after they dried. And I just happened to look in here and I went, Oh my God, all the dirt and the muck was stuck in here. So you're putting, you're washing your utensils, you're putting clean utensils, dropping them in, and they're draining, not realizing that there's a whole bunch of muck. So I got PO'd with that. I says, now, you know what, for a dollar, this is gonna go, I gotta get rid of this. I still have the tag on it from the essentials. That's that's how short of a time, I, I think I had this, I want to say a month so I'm trying to find something else just for the utensils now I also purchased this which I actually like better just a simple little rack to just put my dishes in and it, like I said it's only me and my husband so we don't have that much dishes and it's fine so I'm using that for my dishes to stand everything upright and I went to a store today. This store I purchased the file boxes that I believe I showed you that I was using for the bottoms of my cabinets after I redid them. I went to that same store. And they're they're uh, wonderful um, Chinese people. They own the store. And I was looking for something just for my utensils. I know Rubbermaid makes something, but I think that's more for a bathroom. I found this. Perfect. It has just amount of holes, and it also has holes on the bottom. More of an open, airy. And this is easier for me. So it's gonna be a separate piece. The next thing that I was gonna use if I couldn't find something was gonna be the dishwasher utensil rack. 
I was just going to take that out and put my utensils in just to dry them at nighttime and then the next floor plan. This happens to be good. And not only that, it comes with the, uh, the handle, but they're so cute. Taped inside is the hook. And that's actually taped inside. So I'm going to untape that now. And I think that's so nice that this way nobody loses anything. And what that's going to do is snaps into the handle. And I'm going to do that now. Ah, here we go. Very cool. If I wanted, I can actually hang this over my sink onto my cabinet at night if I wanted to. Just, you know, as my utensils are laying, just to dry my utensils. I think this is cool. This was $1.99. Fine. Fine. So I'm going to give it a good wash. I'm going to wash it out and everything. And I think that's going to be very nice. I like that. That was really my only purchase today. I went, walked around, had lunch, had my other taco again. I need my taco. Strange story yesterday when I went. I went to the mall yesterday. And strange story, it, caught, it took me five tries. Even the security guard was getting pissed off. I says, listen, my lunch is getting cold. I, you know, can we like move this along or else I'm just going to keep walking somewhere else. He says, no, he says, sometimes it has a glitch. I was the only one that had a glitch on. Now I thought of my situation down in Disney World with the magic bands. Me and my husband play a game. Who's gonna get stuck at the entrance way? Cause you gotta keep scanning your magic band and your fingerprints don't work. I usually have that problem. We go hysterical laughing down there. It's usually a thing to, uh, it's, it's a private joke between us. Well, he's working so I'm, it would have been the ultimate yesterday had he been with me because they have this tablet on a stand and the security guard now at my mall, they let you eat in the food court. And this is the first week they're doing it. But you have to go through a temperature check and you have to put down your name and your phone number and the date. No problem. Okay. I get up there, guy says, now, they show you the outlining on the screen of your face. They said, put your face in that outline. Okay, fine. I got the face. Remember, I got a mask on. I have hair. So, first try was no. No good. Second try, no good. He says, you know what? Try it. Now we're going to play games. Try adjusting your mask. Try to pull down your mask a little bit. Okay, fine. No good. Now there's people starting to line up behind me. Security guard says, could you step to the side because I want to... Yeah, fine. No problem. They're all getting in left and right, and I'm still standing here. I said to myself, if my husband was with me, he would not stop laughing. Okay. Ma'am, try it again. I tried it again the second time. No good. Three more people wind up behind me. He lets them go. Okay, ma'am, try it again. Third time. No good. Same thing. Fourth try. No good. On the fifth try. Finally, it works. I picked up my hair. And I pulled the mask down. The security guard says, yeah, I was going to ask you to do that too. He says, I says, well, after five tries, after four tries, you should have. Because now I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get mad. Now, if this is a temperature check, I'm saying to myself, my, temp my temperature will be up to 101 before this shit is over with. Because I got to get in here, I got to eat. Or I'll be eating outside. Now, there are places to eat outside. They allow you, uh, let's see, I'm on the second floor of the parking lot area. They allow you, they have a parking garage. And they have tables and chairs set up. And you're actually in an open space, so it's pretty cool. I should have just ate out there, but I wanted to see if I could sit inside for once because I haven't done it in seven months. Finally, after the fourth try, here comes the fifth try. All of a sudden, it miraculously works. And the 42 people behind me wound up, you know, practically half finishing their, their lunch before I was able to go in and, and eat mine. All that for a taco and a soda, just to sit down, just to sit down and relax. So, what a day that was yesterday. But, um, and then I was at the mall yesterday, you know, doing my thing there with that. And then I get a phone call from a friend saying that she was all upset. We have a new president. Okay. All right. 
if you notice, I'm not saying much. Um, it was rough in Manhattan, New York. You had parades, you had parties. Nobody was protesting, thank God. For once in a in the night, I, I will say this: nobody was fighting. Everybody was united together. Everybody was celebrating, jumping up and down, singing in the streets, dancing in the streets. They had music. They were popping open champagne in the street. Some of them had their masks on. Most of them had their masks on. Some of them didn't have their masks on. I guess it's hard to drink champagne with a mask. But it was rough. Um, here where I live... Not a celebration. None. So, we have one borough that, um, the whole borough is not feeling that festive. So, and that's all I'm really going to say about it. Few people on uh, social media, you know, you'll lose people every so often. I go on there and I said my piece. I says, listen, you got what you wanted. This is my exact words. He's got what she's wanted. I just hope for your sake that everything that the new president and the vice president says that they're going to do, I hope they do it. Because God help you. If there is one slip up from that person, from those two people. Now, you people know me for years, I said, on my social media. You people know me. I mean, I know people for over 30 years. We're all, we're all neighborhood people. I says, because God help you. You know how I am. I will come down on your asses so much. It is not even funny. Enjoy your victory, but you knew my views on this. So, And I am not a shy person when it comes to that. I do speak my mind. Have I lost a few people? Yeah, yeah, sure I did. I, I knew I was gonna, but... And again, we're all in our 50s. Some of you as the grandparents, for God's sakes, get over yourselves. It, it's an election. He's never gonna invite you to the White House. I mean, what is the problem with you people? You know, the minute he's gonna, let's say, God forbid, raise, <laughs> raise your taxes, don't, do not let me see your post, because I will, I will be all over that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and with that being said, that is the way it is. What time is it? It's a quarter to three. I just did that, you know, slow walk, and I'm, and I just came back home, and that was it. I just wanted to do the thing on the candle and my reviews on my little candles, and I'm actually liking this Yankee Candle, Yankee Candle Woodland Trail. I'm actually liking this. It is a bigger candle than the Body Bath and Body Works. Same amount of price, but a bigger candle. I mean, they do have the taller candles, but now the only thing, like I said yesterday, is I purchased more of the wax melts. That's all I did. I do have coupons, but I'm going to save my coupons because it really wasn't for something that I wanted right now. So I do have some time on my coupons. And that's really it. Alrighty, I'm going to end my video. Today I am, before I leave, today I am wearing my Aurora shirt kind of like the Sanderson sisters but it's Aurora and is the um I don't know you can't read it backwards <laughs> so when you call and request it is the Aurora spa sleeping beauty spa and when you call to make an appointment and request ask for the Maleficent special <laughs> I love these shirts this shirt I purchased at box lunch last uh, I want to say last year yeah sometime in November December I purchased this so I act, I love shirts like this I love novelty shirts like this alrighty people thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing I hope I answered your question very simple I don't make big deals out of things I get what I want I do what I have to do and I'm fine with it thank you so much again happy Sunday love to all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I know I already said it, but I felt it needed to be said again. Love to all. Have a great Sunday. Be safe out there. Wear your mask. Take care. Bye-bye.